Hi, I'm Scott Walter. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be producing some fun and exciting travel videos from my home here in Southern Oregon. First up is Applegate Lake. It's just about an hour from my home here in Grants Pass. I do hope you enjoy the journey. The trip to Applegate Lake is stunning. From Grants Pass, we will wind our way through the historic Applegate Valley. We will be motoring on Highway 238 for the majority of our trip, passing through the small communities of Murphy, Provolt, and Applegate. It's an easy drive and we will eventually take a right onto Upper Applegate Road at the community of Rouge. All in all, it's just under 60 miles one way. The Applegate is a tributary of the Rogue River and is about 40 miles long. When settlers arrived in the 1800s, the Applegate Valley was inhabited by the Daku Bititi, who were among the last Indian groups to surrender to the U.S. Army in 1856. The river was named for the famous pioneers Jesse and Lindsay Applegate, who passed by the river's mouth in 1846 while laying out a southern route of the Oregon Trail. The Applegate begins its journey in the rugged foothills of the Siskiyou Mountains along the Northern California border. The Upper Applegate Road follows the Applegate River upstream and there are plenty of opportunities to pull over and touch and enjoy the river. Our first stop is at the historic McKee Bridge. McKee Bridge was built in 1917. It is one of Oregon's southernmost spans, only eight miles from the California border and it served until 1956. The covered bridge was built during World War I to bring horse-drawn stagecoaches up to the Blue Ledge Copper Mine high in the Siskiyous. It is one of the very few covered bridges left in Southern Oregon. The bridge was recently remodeled by local volunteers. Back on the road and just a few minutes above the McKee Bridge is the Applegate Ranger District Office. The journey to Applegate Lake is full of fun surprises, including this building. It is one of the oldest U.S. Forest Service structures still stand. This little building, which later came to be called the Tack Room, sits next to the road just before the Ranger Station office and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Ten miles up the road we arrive at Applegate Dam. Construction was begun by the Army Corps of Engineers on the dam in 1976 and was finished up by 1980. The reservoir provides irrigation and flood protection for the lower Applegate Valley. The 988-acre lake has a hiking trail that follows the 18-mile shoreline. The Forest Service maintains the 10 campgrounds along with the viewpoints and trail system around the lake. The largest, Hartish Park, primarily a day-use facility with camping, includes several acres of beautifully groomed lawn sloping down to the water's edge. This really is one of the best things about a road trip in Southern Oregon and Northern California is exactly this. It's a Saturday afternoon in the middle of summer and I am at this lookout all by myself. Looking south across Applegate Lake is the majestic Red Buttes Wilderness. Most of the 20,000 acre wilderness is located in the Applegate Ranger District, which encompasses 219,000 acres. This scenic terrain was carved by ancient glaciers and supports a number of unusual plant species. The Siskiyou Mountains are some of the oldest rocks in Oregon. There are approximately 30 miles of trail taking the hiker past lakes, meadows, and breathtaking views in 1984. Congress designated the Red Buttes area as wilderness. The lake is 3.5 miles long and extends upriver nearly to the California border and is a very popular fishing and boating destination. Now, if you're up for a little more of a drive and getting off the beaten path, boy, do we have a treat for you. Drive, head across the dam at Applegate Lake and head up the road about seven miles and you're gonna come to the beautiful Squaw Lakes. 
seven miles up Squaw Creek Road, which includes five miles of gravel road, you come upon Squaw Lake. This 48-acre lake is 110 feet deep. Motors are not allowed on the lake, making this a place to really enjoy some peace and quiet. Camping is allowed here, but reservations must be made back at the Hartish store. The trip over the five miles of gravel road is well worth the journey to Squaw Lake. There is also Little Squaw Lake further up the road if you are up to it. Hiking, boating, fishing, or just plain enjoying those views. The opportunities are endless at Applegate Lake. When you are ready to head back, you can take Highway 238 to the historic town of Jacksonville and then on to Medford to make the trip a complete loop. The Applegate Valley, Lake, and River each their own jewel in Oregon's crown of the beautiful Southern Oregon region. Wasn't Applegate Lake absolutely beautiful? It was a great trip. Now stay tuned because coming up down the road I'm going to have another journey and this time I'm going to be going down to Northern California and visiting Mount Shasta, a lot of fun stuff going on at the mountain down there. So once again, thank you very much for watching. You can go to planetarytraveler.com and check out some other fun stuff I have there. You can email me and give me some great ideas or suggestions. Once again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.